St. Clair Shores, what's going on? Derek here from M1 Realty. I'm back with your December 2022 real estate market update for the city of St. Clair Shores. Let's get into it. So it's been a pretty unique month uh, compared to what we've been seeing for the past couple years. So let's just dive right in. So right now, as we stand, uh, there's currently 113 homes on the market in the city of St. Clair Shores. Compare that to only 71 that sold in the month of November. So if you've been paying attention to these videos, like for the past couple years, month after month after month after month, we've been seeing uh, month over month increases in the average sale price. This is the first time I can remember in a while where the average sale price went down. So in November, the average sale price in the Shores was $202,343. This is actually an 8.1% decrease with the average sale price in October. And it's actually 5.2% less than the average sale price in November of 2021. So does this represent a trend? I don't think so but I don't know for sure. We're gonna have to wait uh, and see what happens like over the next couple months and see exactly where we're at. The good news is the homes that did sell in November in St. Clair Shores sold on an average of 97.9% .9 of asking price and sold in an average of only 29 days on the market. And currently there's only 1.1 months worth of inventory on the market in St. Clair Shores, which in the grand scheme of things isn't very much. So just in plain English, what does this all mean? I think it's a little too early to tell. So normally when I see big swings like that in terms of average sale price, whether it's up or down, it's usually smaller cities that have a really small sample size. Uh, St. Clair Shores with 113 homes on the market and like, you know, 70 to, 70 to 100 homes selling every month is a pretty good, pretty good sample size. So that kind of, uh, um, you know, gives me a little bit of pause. I don't know for sure what's going to happen, uh, you know, over the next couple months. I don't think anybody does. But uh, one thing is for sure, I will report back to you as soon as I know. I think a lot of it does have to do with the time of year. Like this is t traditionally the slowest time of year for real estate in the, in, in the state of Michigan, in Metro Detroit and in St. Clair Shores specifically. Inventory wise, we're actually kind of almost in line with where we'd normally be in a normal year. We've been you know, suffering from super low inventory for a couple of years. You know, I've been talking about this every single month if you guys have been watching. So, you know, it's hard to, hard to say, you know, typically the market kind of uh, behaves in a cyclical fashion. This is like the low point of the year in terms of inventory, in terms of sale price, in terms of, you know, uh, you know list price to sale price ratio. And then kind of as we get through winter, start getting into spring, it's gonna pick back up and it usually peaks out around June or July. I'd say the fact that the average home is selling for 97.9% .9 of asking price and it's selling in less than 30 days um you know that's a if i was selling a home right now that's a good sign as far as i'm concerned that means that there's definitely still demand there um you know and and i can you know say for for certain you know i think i've written uh just in the last week how uh offers on like five houses in st Clair shores and we've gotten beat out on all of them and we were writing pretty competitive offers so there's definitely uh, definitely demand still so uh, you know I, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't look too much into that or get too dejected by the the fact that you know price, the average sale price has gone down 8.1 percent we're gonna see what happens next month and the month after if there's like a two or three month trend um, then it's you know we gotta start thinking about you know contingencies there but overall I think the the fundamentals of our local real estate market are pretty solid just in the past couple months, I've actually been to uh, Phoenix, Arizona. I've been to Dallas, Texas, San Antonio, Texas, and I've met with you know people that I know in the real estate business in all three of those cities, and they would uh, kill to be where we're at right now because especially in Phoenix, they've seen a 20% decrease year over year in average sale price. Their inventory is up through the roof. Their days on market are, are approaching you know 70, 80 days on the market, and we're at you know what 29. So we're not seeing the, the kind of market correction that a lot of these other cities around the country are seeing. And a lot of that I think stems from our lack of inventory. So, you know, interest rates raising up haven't helped and it's a little too early to know how mortgage rates are going to be affected by the latest Fed uh, increase. They, they, they increased their rates half a percent. Uh, it's the seventh time this year that the Fed's raised interest rates. And typically when that happens, mortgage rates kind of go along with it. 
The last time it didn't though, so and interest rates have actually gone down from the you know where we were, but at, towards the end of October, beginning of November, we we're hovering right about seven percent. Right now we're at six point three seven five, so it's adjusting in the right direction. You know we'll see what happens over the over the course of the next couple months, but um, you know it's getting uh, a little easier for you know buyers to qualify. They're getting a little more buying power as interest rates go back down. So all that is, you know, it's good for, for everybody involved because typically when interest rates go down, it makes it just, you know, like I said, buyers can qualify for more money. It just makes it a little bit easier for them. Their monthly payment's gonna be a little bit less. And what the effect that that has on homes on the market it usually makes prices go back up. So we're gonna see, we're gonna monitor it. And I'll be the first one to tell you if we're if we fluctuate too much one way or the other, I'm not even going to wait for a, a monthly update. I'm just going to let you know right away and post that as well. And as always, if you have any questions whatsoever about the state of the market, any stats that I missed, you want to know about a specific house, a specific neighborhood, I can get as in detail or as you know, uh, kind of thirty thousand foot level as you want. Just let me know what's up. Uh, you can call or text me anytime five eight six. 491-5622, shoot me an email at dwarenka at m1realty.net, carrier pigeon, smoke signal, Facebook messenger, whatever you wanna do, I'm easy to get a hold of, um, and I'm here to answer any questions you guys have. And once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday season, and uh, we'll catch you back in January. Again, if you need me anything from me before then, just give me a call, let me know. And uh, other than that, thank you so much guys for watching. We'll talk soon and have a great one. Thank you.